in this series of videos, we're going to talk about using Visual Studio and operating with large migrated application. We're going to talk about code navigation, solution structure, and everything around that. First thing, and first very important thing, is which solution do you use? Part of the migration, we provide you with two solutions. One is called CRS, for the CRS application, or Northwind for the Northwind application, and the other is called Northwind Full, or CRS Full. The difference between them is that CRS only holds the basic projects that you absolutely require to run your application, whereas CRS Full includes all the projects. So in our example, Northwind will have only the Northwind project, and Northwind Full will have all of these projects. Now you might think the loading more projects uh, gives you a better perspective, so it allows you to see more, but in reality it actually limits you. Let me show you how do I open the CRS application in a normal day-to-day -day scenario. And you can see that Visual Studio is loading, taking a few seconds, and I have my solution loaded. And if I look at the task manager, we can see that it's still operating for a while at a low CPU rate until eventually it will uh, um, become calm after just a few minutes. Let me show you what happens when you're loading this full CRS application. So I'm going to double click on the CRS full solution. And over here you can see Visual Studio loading many, 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 many projects and watch the task manager as it loads. Okay, you can see here that all the projects are initializing and are getting ready for us to operate on them. But it takes a while and a lot of CPU. And even now that it seems like Visual Studio has completed its loading, you can see that its CPU is still running high and still operating. And this can take as long as even seven minutes for it to completely load everything. And when it's done, it's going to reach a height of even 1.4 gigabytes of memory consumption. And that is a big problem because when you are straining Visual Studio that much, your day-to-day -day work will become slower. Any operations that you do in Visual Studio will be slower to do. It will be slower to search. It will be slower to type. It will be slower to do anything. It will feel cumbersome and, and heavy to work with. Now, obviously, CRS is a huge application. It has over 10,000 programs in its original Magic application. It has 57 projects loaded over here. But the reality is that in most cases, we only use three to five of these projects. So it makes a lot more sense to use the smaller, more uh, uh, lightweight CRS solution and simply add the projects that I want to work on. For example, if I want to use CRS Base, I'll just right click here and choose Add existing project and choose the projects that I want to work with. I can go ahead and get CRS creditors because I want to work on creditors. No problem. I'll just say add existing project, go to the folder and choose creditors. Perfect. If I want to use the base project, I'll just use the base project. And you can create as many solutions as you like. It's very productive. You can create the ones that you care about and just work on the things that you want to work and you don't have to have everything loaded. Now as you can see I'm buying a bit of time just by loading a few things into the small CRS application when I can then search, navigate and find everything but still the original project did not complete loading. Okay? And you can still see how many resources it's using while it's loading. So the little CRS application with the three projects that we care about is almost done while the large CRS, the CRS full solution, is still running and still accumulating memory. So, as you can imagine, our recommendation is use the small solution. Use the one with as few projects as required to achieve the task that you need to work on. You will enjoy Visual Studio more, it will run faster, you'll have a lot more fun. Only use the full solution when you need to do a cross-solution refactoring or a cross-code, find references, and in your day-to-day -day work, just work with the small solutions that has the projects that you care about and you need.